today, our lesson for today is about properties on operations of integers. Properties of operation on integers. The first property that we have is what you call closure property. It says that two integers that added and multiplied remain as integers. So, dalawang integers, pag in mo o multiply ang sagot pa rin ay isang integer. Okay? For example, we have here a closure property of addition. So, this is an example of a closure property of addition. It says that a plus b is integer. So, for example, we have here a given of 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 are integer. Then, when you find the sum of 3 plus 2, the answer is 5, which is also an integer. So, yun lang yung meaning ni closure property. Next tayo. Closure property of multiplication. It says that a times b is integer. So, for example, I have 3 multiplied by 2. They are integers. If you multiply them, the answer is 6, which 6 is also an integer. So, ganun lang kasimpleng intindihin si closure property. When you add or multiply two numbers or three numbers, it is always equal to and also an integer. Is it clear? Number two, we have commutative property. When you say commutative property, changing the order of two numbers that are either being added or multiplied that does not change its value. Meaning, magkapalit man daw yung dalawang numbers na inad mo, inaad mo, or multiply mo, parehas pa rin ang magiging sagot. That is commutative property. So, meron tayong commutative property of addition. So, it says that a plus b is also equal to p, b plus a. For example, we have here 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9, right? So, it is also equal to 4 plus 5, which is 4 plus 5 is also equal to 9. So, meaning, magkapalit man sila ng pwesto nilang dalawa, parehas pa rin ang kanyang magiging sagot. That is commutative property. Another example, we have here negative 3 plus 6. Negative 3 plus 6, the answer is positive 3. So, it is also equal to 6 plus negative 3. So, nagkapalit sila ng pwesto. So, 6 plus negative 3, the answer is also positive 3. Alright? So, that is commutative property of addition. Okay? Next tayo. Meron din tayong tinatawag na commutative property of multiplication naman. If you multiply two numbers, pagpalitin mo man yung kanilang pwesto, the answer are just the same. For example, 4 times 5, the answer here is 20. So, it is also equal to 5 times 4. Diba? Pag minultiply mo yung 5 times 4, ang sagot din dun is 20. Next tayo, negative 3 times 4. The answer here is negative 12. Pag palitin natin ang pwesto, gagawin natin 4 times negative 3. The answer is also negative 12. So, that is commutative property. Changing the order of the numbers does not affect the value of the of the numbers. Alright? Next tayo. Number three, we have associative property. When you say associative property, this means changing the groupings of numbers that are either being added or multiplied does not change its value. Si associative property, makakakita ka dito ng open and close parenthesis. So, um, Yung open and close parenthesis na yon that would be served as a groupings. Okay? So, i-group natin yung unang dalawa, then kahit i-grupo mo siya kahit saan, magiging parehas pa rin yung kanyang sagot. For example, the rest of the first one, we have associative property of addition para mas maging klaro siya. For example, I have here, A plus B plus C. So, since ang unang grupo natin is A plus B, di ba kapag may open and close parenthesis tayo, yun yung una nating um, kinukuha. For example, if you add A plus B, then you add it the sum here with C, it is also equal to um, B plus C muna, then add it to the sum of A. So, parehas lang yung magiging sagot. 
So, ganito yung pag sinabi mong groupings. Naka-open, ah, kakulong siya sa open and close parenthesis. So, dito, ang unang ginrupo niya ay si A plus B, tsaka niya i-add kay C. Dito naman, ang naka-groupings ay si B plus C, tsaka niya i-add kay A. So, ganon yung associative property. For example, I have here, 3 plus 2 ang naka-group plus 1. So, sabi niya, equal daw siya sa 3 plus 2 plus 1. Si 2 plus 1 yung naka group. Let us see kung equal nga sila. Tingnan nyo ah. 3 plus 2, pag in mo yan, the answer is 5. Then, plus 1. The answer is 6. Dito naman, just copy 3 plus 2 plus uh, 2 plus 1, the answer is 3. If you add 3 plus 3, the answer is also 6. Diba? So, kahit ano, kahit ano unahin mo sa grupo na yan, or i-grupo mo man yung unang dalawa, or yung pangalawa o pangatlong terms, Parehas pa rin ang kanyang magiging sagot. That is associative property. So, let us have the next example. 5 plus 4 plus 1. So, kapag naka-open and close, yun muna. 5 plus 4, the answer is 9. Then, plus 1. Those 9 plus 1, the answer is 10, right? Then, dito naman, just copy 5 plus. We have here 4 plus 1, the answer is 5. So, 5 plus 5, the answer is also 10. Diba? So, hindi nagbabago ang kanyang values kahit anong unahin mo by using groupings. So, that is associative property of addition. Addition kasi ang ating operation is addition. Next tayo, associative property of multiplication. So, dito, ang pinagkaiba naman niya, ang kanyang operation is multiplication. For example, 4 times 2. So, unahin natin yun na sa open and close parenthesis. Ang sagot dyan is 8. Then, multiply by 3. 8 times 3, the answer is 24, right? So, dito tayo. Copy 4 times. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. If you multiply 4 times 6, the answer is also 24. Okay? Next tayo. 2 times 1, the answer is 2. Then, multiplied by 6. The answer here is 12. So, it is also equal to 2 times 1 times 6, the answer is also 6. So, 2 times 6 is also 12. Diba? So, that is um, associative property of multiplication naman kasi ang ating operation is multiplication. Naintindihan? So, that is associative property. Alright? Let us have another property. Number 4, we have distributive property. When you say distributive property, when two numbers have been added or subtracted and then multiplied by a factor, the result will be the same of each number is multiplied by the factor and the products are then added and subtracted. Ang haba, di ba? Pero pag sinabi mong distributive property, yung number na nasa labas ay ipamimigay mo na na doon sa loob ng open and close parenthesis. Okay? So, meaning, kahit daw unahin mo yung nasa loob, then i-multiply mo, same daw siya sa pagdi-distribute. Sa pagbibigay mo doon sa labas, then i-multiply mo siya doon sa loob. They are just the same. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ni distributive property. So, meron tayong dalawang klase ng distributive property. So, we have what you call distributive property over addition. This means that if you are going to multiply a doon sa loob ni open and close parenthesis, so it becomes a times b plus a times c. So, bakit naging ganun? So, si a ibinigay natin, dinistribute natin kay b. If you are going to distribute, magmumultiplication tayo. So, we have a distribute to b, so it becomes a times b. Plus, just copy the operation. Plus, then... Si A ulit, i-distribute natin by C, so it becomes A times C. Ito yun. Okay? Nagagets? That is distributive over addition. Addition kasi ang ating operation is addition or plus. So, for example, I have here, tingnan nyo ha, magiging same pa rin yung kanya magiging sagot. This one daw, si 3 times 4 plus 2. Diba kapag naka-open and close parenthesis, Um, yun muna inuuna, tsaka natin may multiply So, we have here 4 plus 2, di ba? The answer here is 6. So, 4 plus 2, we have here 6, then multiplied by 
3. So, equal daw siya kay, uh, kapag dinistribute mo yung 3 dun sa 4, so it becomes 3 times 4. So, ayan na yan. Then, copy the operation plus. Then, distribute natin yung 3 sa 2, so it becomes 3 times 2. Okay? So, yun yung nangyari kapag distribute, diba? So, if you are going to multiply 3 times 4, the answer, it becomes 12. Then, 3 times 2 plus tayo, the answer is 6. If you multiply 3 times 6, the answer is 18. If you add 12 plus 6, the answer is also 18. So, we're just the same. Alright? Let us have another example. We have here 2 times 5 plus 1 daw. So, if you are going to add 5 plus 1, the answer is 6. Then, multiplied by 2, the answer is 12. Let us see, kapag dinistribute natin si 2 dun sa loob ni open parenthesis, ang magiging sagot pa rin is 12. Let us try. So, if you are going to distribute 2 to 5, so it becomes 2 times 5. Then, just copy, plus. Then, distribute ulit natin si 2 times 1, the answer 2, then multiplied by 1. So, let us simplify. 2 times 5, the answer is 10, plus 2 times 1, the answer is 2. If you add 10 plus 2, the answer is also 12. Alright? So, that is distributive property over addition. Now, let us have distributive property over subtraction. So, since over subtraction, ang kanyang operation naman sa gitna is minus. Kasi nagsusubtract tayo. So, same process pa din siya. We are going to distribute the number na nasa labas doon sa loob ni open and close parenthesis. So, we have here, for example, we have here 4 times 3 minus 1. So, if you are going to um, subtract 3 minus 1, the answer is 2. Then, just multiply it to 4. 4 times 2, so the answer is 8, right? So, it is just the same daw kapag dinistribute mo yung 4 doon kay 3. So, it become 4 times 3. Si 4, distribute mo doon sa negative 1, so it becomes minus 4 times 1. If you have 4 times 3, the answer is 12. Then, 4 times 1, the answer is 4. If you subtract 12 minus 4, the answer is also 8. Alright? Next tayo. We have here, 5 minus 3. Ah, sorry, 5 minus 2. The answer here is 3. Then, multiply it by negative 3. The answer is negative 9. Tama? Tama? So, same lang daw siya kapag nindistribute mo yung negative 3 sa 5. So, it becomes negative 3 times 5. Then, the other one is minus negative 3 times negative, uh, positive 2. So, same lang daw sila. Tingnan natin. Negative 3 times 5, the answer is negative 15. Then, since dalawang negative magkatabi, it becomes positive. So, 3 times 2, the answer is 6. So, since we have different in sign, we are going to subtract. So, negative 15 plus 16, the answer is also negative 9. So, they are just the same. Alright? So, that is distributive property over addition and over subtraction. Is it clear? Number 5, we have what you call identity property. So, meron ulit tayong dalawang identity property dito. The first one is identity property of addition or what you call additive identity property. Pag sinabi mo identity yung sarili niya. Okay, so that's the meaning of identity. So, it states that the sum of any number and zero is the given number. So, meaning yung sum pag i- ang number, pag in mo sa zero, ang sagot pa rin ay yung number na yon Tama ba? So, that is what you call identity property. Okay? So, zero kay additive identity property. Si zero, ang tawag sa kanya is the identity element for addition. So, yan yung i-add mo dun sa number para makuha mo yung kanyang sarili. Alright? So, for example, so, meron dito sinasabi na if we have a plus zero, it is also equal to a. If we have 0 plus a, it is also equal to a. So, magkabaliktad man. Basta sa 0 siya, ang sagot pa rin ay yung kanyang sarili. For example, we have here 12 plus 0. The answer is also 12. Okay? Then, 0 plus negative 3, the answer is also negative 3. So, we have additive identity property kasi ang ating operation is addition. 
Okay? So, the identity element for addition is 0. Is it clear? So, that's the first one. Let us move with identity property of multiplication. Identity property of multiplication or what you call multiplicative identity property. So, it states that the product of any number n1 is the given number. So, kanina, um, pag in mo sa 0, ang sagot ay yung kanya sarili. Dito naman, pag minultiply mo sa 1, ang sagot ulit ay yung kanyang sarili. So, therefore, si 1, siya naman yung identity element ng multiplication. Okay, kanina, si 0 ang identity element ng addition. Ngayon, si 1 naman ang identity element for multiplication. So, this is described as a times 1 is also equals to a or 1 times a is also equals to a. So, we have an example here. So, 3 times 1, the answer is 3. 1 times negative 4, the answer is also negative 4. So, basta given, mul multiply or add sa kanyang additive or um multiplicative identity ang, ang sagot dapat ay yung kanyang sarili. So, that is identity property. Is it clear? So, let us have the next one. Number 6, we have what you called inverse property. So, may dalawa ulit tayo ka inverse property. Ang una, we have inverse property of addition. So, it states that the sum of any number and its additive inverse is 0. Additive inverse naman ang tawag sa kanya kanina, additive um, identity. Ngayon, additive inverse. So, kapag additive inverse, so, kailangan ang kanyang magiging sagot is 0. Okay? Kapag identity element, kailangan magiging sagot yung sarili niya. Dito naman kay inverse, kailangan ang magiging sagot niya is 0. Alright? So, it says that, that A and negative A are additive inverse. So, kung positive ang una mong given, i-add mo siya sa negative na given number. Okay? So, yung kabaliktaran niya. So, ang kabaliktaran ng positive ay negative. Ang kabaliktaran ni negative is positive. Pag in mo yung dalawang yon, the answer is 0. Alright? So, it says that A plus negative A is equals to 0. Negative A plus A is equals to 0. So, that is additive inverse. So, example tayo. 4. 4 plus negative 4 is equal to 0. Diba? So, kasi magiging 4 minus 4 yan. So, is 0. Negative 5 plus positive 5 is also equal to 0. So, yun lang si inverse property of addition. Kailangan equal siya sa 0. So, yung positive number, pag in mo sa negative number, so, kung saan parehas yung number, na iba lang yung sign, the answer is 0. So, that is additive inverse. So, let's move with inverse property of multiplication. Inverse property of multiplication, it states that the product of any number and its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is 1. So, ngayon, ang multiplicative inverse naman, yung reciprocal niya, kabaliktaran, pag sinabi mong reciprocal. So, we have here A and 1 over A are multiplicative inverse. So, si A, ang multiplicative inverse niya is si 1 over A. Si 1 over A, ang multiplicative inverse niya si A or si A over 1. That is it. Ganun lang kasimple. So, kailangan dito naman, ang magiging sagot mo is 1. Pag minultiply mo yung yung a number and its multiplicative inverse, ang magiging sagot dapat lagi is 1. Alright? For example, we have here a times a over 1. So, si a, ang multiplicative inverse na is 1 over a, the answer is 1. That is it. Kasi yung magiging ang a divided by a, the answer is 1. Then, si 1 over a, ang multiplicative inverse na is a or a over 1. Baliktar naman, magiging whole number. So, a over a is also equal to 1. Okay? So, let us have an example here. Number sa tayo. So, si 5. Si 5, ang multiplicative inverse ni 5 is 1 over 5. Okay? Si whole number kasi, lagi yan may over 1. Kaya, pag kinuha mo yung kanyang reciprocal, magigiyang 1 over 5. Then, if you multiply 5 to its multiplicative inverse 1 over 5, the answer is 1. Kasi magigiyang 5 times 1 is 5 divided by 5. The answer is 1. 
Naintindihan? Next tayo. We have here a given of two-thirds. So, ang kanyang reciprocal or multiplicative inverse niya is 3 over 2. Ayan, may multiply siya sa kay 3 over 2. So, if you have two-thirds multiplied by 3 over 2, it is also equal to 1. Bakit? Tingnan nyo, magiging itong 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. What is 6 divided by 6? The answer is 1. So, that is inverse property of multiplication. Kailangan naman dito, ang laging sagot mo is 1. So, kanina, sa inverse property of addition, ang laging sagot mo dapat doon is 0. Alright? Let us move with the application of the different properties of integers. Fill in the blanks. Write the missing terms according to the property applied. So, meron dito mga properties na given natin. So, if we fill in the blanks natin according to its properties. So, the first one we have here commutative. So, we have here negative 4 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus blank. Di ba? Pag sinabi mong commutative property, kahit magkapalit sila ng number, ay yun pa rin ang sagot. So, meron na tayong 3 dito. So, therefore, ang nawawala na lang ay si negative 4. That is it. So, ganun lang. Pagpapalitin mo lang. So, that is commutative property. Next tayo, let us have number 2. We have your distributive property. So, meaning, i-distribute natin. Ipamimigay natin yung 6 doon sa open and close parenthesis. So, 6 times 1 plus 2. So, it is equal to, since distributive, so 6 times, ang nawawala dito is 1. Yan lang yan. Then, 6 times, ang nawawala dito is 2. So, that is distributive property. Next tayo, inverse. When you say inverse naman, kapag addition, kailangan equal siya kay 0. Kapag multiplication naman, kailangan equal siya kay 1. That is inverse. Okay? Natandaan? So, the inverse of this one, since addition dito, negative. So, yun yung kabalik tara niya. Kapag inverse of addition, additive inverse. So, 12 plus blank is equal to 0. Dapat equal to 0. So, therefore, ang kanyang additive inverse is negative 12. That is it. Ganun lang kasimple. Next tayo, identity. Number 4, identity. Since identity ito, yun na number multiplied by 1 should be the number itself. Yun lang yan. Okay? So, blank times 1 is equal to negative 8. So, ngayon, ano yung multiply mo dito kay 1 para maging negative 8? So, therefore, yung number itself pa rin, which is negative 8. That is it. That is identity. Ano yung given? Multiply mo dun sa identity, um, uh, additive, or multiplicative inverse. Kailangan ng sagot yung kanyang sarili. That is identity. Next tayo, associative. So, si associative, grouping sa man to. So, since plus dito and minus, mag-group lang tayo. Okay? So, we have here. So, it is equal to, sabi niya dito, 10 plus 4, then minus 6. So, group lang natin. So, yung unang group, ito yung nauna. So, syempre, ito na yung susunod. So, therefore, ito ay magiging 10. Then, this one ay magiging 4. That is it. So, that is associative. So, walang nabago. Ang nabago lang sa kanya, yung open and close parenthesis. Yung puesto ni open and close parenthesis. That is associative. Right? Next tayo, we have here closure. 13 minus 4. So, just find the answer. That is closure. So, any numbers, if you add or subtract to the number, so, kung ano yung man yung sagot is integers, that is closure. So, 13 minus 4, the answer is 9. That is it. So, that is how will you apply the different properties of integers. So, dapat lang, alam nyo kung ano-ano ba yung klase ng mga properties na yun at kung ano-ano ba ang mga gamit niya. Is it clear? So, hopefully may natutunan kayo for this day. So, ganun lang siya kasimple si properties of integers. Then, that properties, ia-apply nyo na yan kapag tayo ay nagsusolve na ng algebraic expressions. Okay? So, that's all. So, kapag may tanong, comment lang po kayo sa ating comment box. And, sasagutin ko po lahat ng inyong katanungan. And, that's all for today. And, thank you for listening. Bye-bye!